Go ahead. Tell us what <laughs> you sure. tell us. Yeah. Tell us your name and tell us what you saw, man. Hi, um, my name is Rosanna Rico. We got home about two o'clock and we noticed there was a lot of activity outside. There were police. Um, at that time, we didn't see any SWAT, but there were police and they were all concentrated at this home over here. And uh, we saw there were there was police with their um, uh, guns. A couple uh, officers pointed at the house on the corner, and we didn't know what was going on. The, Later, we turned on the TV and found out on the news that there was a gentleman. I don't know if he lives there, but somehow he was in that home, and that he had freaked out and busted out some windows. And uh, I guess the four individuals in the house escaped. We didn't see any of that because when we came, um, as this progressed, it was just trying to get the guy out of the house. And I think he hurt himself because, I don't know if it's our police chief here in Berwyn, but one of the officers was using the bullhorn finally when the SWAT teams converged, and there were many, many SWAT, there was a lot of presence here. They um, were telling the individual, I think his name was Israel, I was hearing the name Israel, um, you know, we know you want to surrender, I believe he called 911 because he said, we know, uh, you know, come to the front door, we know you're hurt. Um, I think later they said something about, um, or he said something about, you hurt your leg, we know your legs hurt. I, it's hard to hear because we were inside we did not step outside. We there were by that that point there were SWAT teams here with their right. Everybody was just concentrated on that house. There were trucks down at the end. Um, we don't even know how many trucks. We're just seeing all of them now because we were uh, <laughs> we've been in the house just you know trying not to uh, come out here. But that we know of, they got the individual out. Uh, we didn't hear any shots or anything like that. So it probably resolved hopefully peacefully, and we didn't. And we didn't hear anything about any hostages. We didn't see anybody get taken out. Again, there were so many trucks right in front here, it was difficult to see. But there was a big presence of police here. Thank you. hours.